demonstrating the changing of orientation um, of the on the on the gearbox. So we'll be removing the nut. Um, you will need to remove the gearbox off the valve shaft first, otherwise it won't, we won't be getting the nut out. First, we remove the, the indicator plate with an eight mil. Now spanner. Then we must return and remove the retaining ring. You use a pair of pliers or a screwdriver or moldy grips. Using the two screwdriver should be able to hold it with one and then get in behind it. Removing the retaining clip, then push out the nut. Now depending on the valve orientation, whether it being open or closed, if the valve is in the open position, you want to make sure that the, and you want to go counterclockwise to close, you want to wind the gearbox clockwise to the open position. You can use a shifter on the um, input shaft to achieve that. So after we've wound the gearbox fully open in the clockwise direction from the input shaft until we hit the stop, then we can line up our nut with the keyway of the open valve and reinsert and line up the nut. Then we can put in our retaining ring. Then we can reposition our gearbox onto the valve shaft. We may have to use the input shaft to get the rotation and line up the, the bolt holes. Then, the, if needed, we then, if the open position is set, we can either use the shifter or the actuator, line the shaft counterclockwise to close and check our close limit. Okay, so we've hit the stop. If the, um, the close limit, if we still need further travel and we have the valve unsealed, we can loosen off this stop here. And that can give us a bit more travel if required. When we're happy with the closed position of the valve, check the stop is backed off by half a turn and then re-tighten the locking nut. Being an, a mode or actuated, valve, actuated gearbox, we need to make sure that the the close limit does not hit a hard stop. Then we can replace our cover.
So when we open the valve, it will go, the, the indicator will indicate open when it reaches the next 90 degree position. Once again, in the open position, the stops should not be touching the quadring and should be backed off by half a turn.